Well, it's a nice quiet day out in the range. So I thought I'd bring out the little uh, 12 gauge. All I brought out to the range though is this bag of assorted center fire and rim fire ammo. None of it is 12 gauge. What'll I do? I've got 9 millimeter. 38 special. And 45 ACP. A 44 Magnum. And then a bunch of 22. Can't really get that to shoot out of this, probably. No. If only there was something that would have this 12 to shoot other calibers. Oh, what's this bag? Short lane, 12 gauge, or magnum conversion. That'll help. A short lane, 12 gauge to 45 ACP. That'll help out with those. Huh, a short lane, 12 gauge to 38 special adapter. We'll shoot those for sure. a uh, 12 gauge to 22 long rifle. That'll look for those. And last but not least, a 12 gauge to 9 And that'll let me shoot these little 9s. Is this thing rifled? No. But, maybe this will do the trick. This one's the short range finder edition. Rifle 9mm. So let's shoot the subloads, adapters, and see how they work in the 12 gauge. So they're pretty simple to work, you just insert them. They fill it up, and then uh, figure out what kind it is. So this one's a 9mm. Pick a 9mm. I guess we'll have to do that next round. Oh, we got a minute. Alright, let's see how it works. Huh, shot. What do you know? All right, so now we've got an actual target set up, so we can do some accuracy targeting as well. And yes, everybody who's aware of this build is going to complain that I a little beat off the front, so uh, that will be a bit of an issue. Oh, 45 ACP. Some ammo. That one showed up on camera, but it's right here. And then one more with five or ACP. And I don't have any peep sight to reference, so. All right, so that was the 45 ACP. Gets pretty dirty, no big deal. Shoots fine. I'm going to complain about accuracy. I have no bead on this to compare John, with. I'll shoot a 144 mm. And it's just some reload stuff that I made up. This one should be pretty smoky. Because it's a reload. All right, we'll get that X there. Wow, that had some significant kick. That's probably the hole right there. Yeah, no reference point on these. Yeah. So that's the 45 and the 
44. Next, let's try the 38 special. This is 38 special. It sure seems like those would uh, hit a skull if you needed to. Smoke and garbage comes out of there. So it probably will foul up the barrel a little bit quicker. Now these 38s don't just pop right out, so all of the adapters come with a little rod to pop it out with. I know on the 44s they came right out, and on the 45 ACPs they came right out. Something about the 38 must be a little tighter. Let's do one more with the 38. Absolutely no recoil. Fairly accurate, pretty fun to shoot. Yeah, I'm going to like this one. That one ejected right away. So now let's see the difference in accuracy with this 9mm rifle. Sir. This time I'll shoot it that way. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was pretty low. Wilderness. He has a whole bunch of those there. All different colors. And that black weapons. Next let's try out the 22. That's the one I'm going to be most have the most fun with, I think. Little, uh, maybe a 3 inch. Little rifled barrel there. It's, it's, the circle is in center because it's a rifle fire. This the, the fire hammer is going to come in and hit the rim. On this one. No targets this time. Just shooting at the berm. Pretty cool. Pops right out. Pops right into your hand. Knock it right out. A whole lot of fun.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.